Welcome to another Impact Media tutorial. This tutorial will guide you through setting up your mail account with Microsoft Outlook and using SMTP Corp as the outgoing mail server. If you haven't done so already, please open Microsoft Outlook and we'll go to Tools and Account Settings. We want to add a new account, so we select New and this will open up your new email account form. In here, place your name or it could be sales, accounts, inquiries, things like that, and the email address. And obviously you'll replace your domain.com with your own domain name. We're going to manually configure the server settings, so we select this box and click Next. We're setting up an internet email account. If you're setting up a Microsoft Exchange account, speak to your IT company or your support guys and they'll be able to assist you further with the settings. For the purpose of this tutorial, we keep it selected for internet email account and select next. You notice your name and email address is already in here. Account type is POP3, we'll leave that as it is. And the incoming mail server will be mail.yourdomain.com. This time in the outgoing mail server, it will be smtpcorp.com. And the logon information. Now this logon information is associated with the incoming mail server. So for the purpose of this, it will be your email address as the username and the password provided when the email account was set up. Before we continue, we want to go to more settings. This area here on the mail account is what shows up in the list where before we added the new email account. So if you've got more than one, it's good to differentiate this with the email address or you can put accounts, sales, inquiries, things like that. We want to go to outgoing server and tick my outgoing server requires authentication but we want log on using. Now we would place the username that was sent in the documentation for the SMTP Corp settings and make sure this is perfect in capitals and uppercase and lowercase. So for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to put in some test information with a test password. Make sure this is selected, remember password. We also want to go to advanced and change the outgoing server from 25 to 587 and select these three boxes on delivery. This will keep a copy of the messages on the server so if you are receiving emails on more than one device, i.e. computer, laptop or mobile phone, this way you'll have copies on each one to be downloaded. Make sure that these details are 100% correct. Press OK. Back on this screen again, give it the once over, check all the details are fine and then press next. And then finish. If you have more than one email account to set up, you will replace, uh, continue with the process again or press close and then start sending and receiving emails. Thanks for joining us for the tutorial. Goodbye.